Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. For today's video, let's take it up close and personal of this refreshed 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport. There are three trims for now available for the Philippine market. And the one right here that I'm going to review is the 2.4 GLS mated to a 7-speed, sorry, 8-speed automatic gearbox. For this video, let's take this Mitsubishi Montero Sport GLS for a full walk-around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are we waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Power delivery of the 2020 Montero Sport is a 4N15, 2.4 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valve, and a turbocharged inline four cylinder clean diesel engine with common rail electronic fuel injection, variable geometry turbo, and MyVec technology. This engine pumps out 181 PS at 3500 RPM and 430 Newton meters of torque at 2500 RPM. 68 liters is the fuel tank size with the emission standard of Euro 4. Compression ratio of this is 15.5 to 1 and this SUV is coupled to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Since this SUV is a 4x2 layout, the drivetrain of this SUV is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. The 2020 Montero Sport has achieving 180 km per hour top speed. Montero Sport, Pajero Sport, or Shogun Sport, depending on the market, is Mitsubishi's seven-seater midsize SUV that was produced since 1996. It's been three generations that this SUV was sold in the global market so far. When the third generation came out in Thailand way back August 2015, the Montero Sport has made a design on its body structure and silhouette going from zero to hero. It looks muscular, strong, and robust compared to the previous generation, which looks bland and plain on a person's perspective. The lines and creases contrast the image of the car, giving a vibe of a rugged look to it. However, it is pretty odd if I say that the body styling of the Montero Sport reminds me of a Gordon Ramsay's face. Well, I'm pretty sure if I make sense or not, but more importantly, it definitely changed a lot. What you see here is the facelift version for the 2020 model year with different minor changes from inside and out. The front end of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport uses the Mitsubishi's traditional dynamic shield design language, but it's given a serious treatment or it's been revised with a clean and decent look compared to the previous pre-facelift model year that looks like a wild boar. Plus, the taillights have been trimmed off a little bit to add satisfaction that each and anyone criticized the old taillight design of the pre-facelift model. The rest it has equipped with a new fully digital gauge, a power tailgate comes as standard, new sets of mags, and a refreshed interior. Overall, the refreshed Montero Sport has totally improved and looks more ergonomically upmarketed than the previous preface of model year, and advancements of technology are well suited on this SUV. In the Philippines, the Montero Sport became one of the best-selling mid-size SUV in the market and continues to gain popularity not just on the badge itself, but serving as a car for every Filipino people for being tough and reliable mid-size body-on-frame SUV on and off-road. However, the 4x4 variant of the 2020 Montero Sport will arrive next year, while the GLX 4x2 manual will be on sale soon within this year. The facelift 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport was launched in the Philippines a month ago and two trims are offered for now, 2.4 GLS 4x2 automatic and the topping range, 2.4 GT 4x2 automatic. Exterior features of the Montero Sport GLS are comprises of LED projector headlights with LED daytime running lights, combined front fog lights and indicator lights, Mitsubishi's new second iteration of dynamic shield design language, having a satin silver upper front grille, combined with chrome highlights, intermittent wipers front and rear, indicators on the chrome side mirrors, chrome door handles, roof rails, side step boards, LED taillights, shark fin antenna, chrome rear plate garnish, LED high mount stoplight, and rear parking sensors. 
The GLS variant Montero Sport gets a various safety features such as two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, brake override system, vacuum brake booster, active stability and traction control, hill start assist, hill descent control, trailer stability assist, side impact beams, speed sensing door locks, child-proof door locks, ELR seat belts, Isofix child seats and tether anchors for the middle row seats, and alarm system with immobilizer. The shoes that are wearing for the 2020 Montero Sport GLS are machine-finished 18-inch 6 double-spoke alloy rims. These rims are wrapped in 26560 R18 tires. Brakes consist of front ventilated discs and rear solid disc brakes. For the suspension, the front gets independent double wishbones and multi-link setup at the back. Both suspensions have coil springs and stabilizer bars. 30 degrees, 24.2 degrees, and 23 degrees are the approach, departure, and break over angles of the 2020 Montero Sport with a maximum ground clearance of 218 millimeters. The 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport GLS comes with the company's Smart Key Access System. By having the key fob on yourself, you can usually utilize the black button found on both two front door handles in order to lock and unlock this SUV. Got your speaker down there, bottle holder, storage. Window lock and central locking. Window controls, all four windows in this car are fully powered and all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Tweeter. This lever right here pops up your bonnet. As you can see, this lever right here pops up to your fuel door. Mirror controls, push button start, button to turn off or on your rear parking sensors, your traction control or your vehicle stability assist or e vehicle stability electronic stability program, and the driver's seat of this 2020 Montero Sport gets a fully manual adjustments. Got your seat back, height, and your seat sliding position right here. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on the height adjustment. A hydraulically assisted rack and pinion power steering system is what the facelifted Montero Sport uses. Standard on the GLS variant is a four-spoke design leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, contrast stitching going around the inner rim, and multifunction controls found on both silver-accented steering wheel spokes. Having a 2.4-liter turbocharged Mavic clean diesel engine, the Montero Sport GLS is mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox with Sport Tiptronic manual shifting using via the plus and minus on the gear lever or paddle shifters are found behind the steering wheel spokes. Down shifting is on the left side and up shifting is on the right side. A reverse camera will show up at the 8-inch infotainment display with the activation of a rear parking sensors when this SUV is on the reverse gear. Center armrest which is padded in fabric and underneath you have a small tray which is removable and you have a decent amount of size storage area two cup holders little storage 
the 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport GLS is featured with an electronic parking brake. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and simply push the toggle down. And to activate, simply pull the toggle back up. This Montero Sport GLS does come standard with an auto hold function, whereby when you arrive at a stop such as traffic light, traffic jam, or an uphill or downhill, and when the system is activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. Some more storage, HDMI, and two USB ports. You have a 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power. This car has more storage underneath. As you can see, dual zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here it is quite simple to use driver's side temperature together with your air conditioning button front passenger side temperature together with your automatic button your air conditioning button different modes front defrost fan speed sync sync means when you turn the sync mode on the driver's side and the front passenger side controls individually and you turn it off and when you turn it off rather it controls both driver and front passengers temperature for both sides your defrost your recirculation and to turn off your air conditioning controls or climb control rather Hazard switch. The 2020 Montero Sport GLS gets a Mitsubishi's touchscreen audio head unit featuring 8 inch colored screen display, various media connectivity options including your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, TomTom -tom GPS navigation system, and 6 speakers for the sound system. Now, here's the screen itself, and at the bottom of your screen, these are the touch sensitive buttons that you can play around with while controlling the, informat uh, sorry, uh, the infotainment display. Your phone, media, navigation, home, your volume controls, and your power to turn off are on your infotainment display. And these are flanked with two air vents. Wiper controls, and your light indicator controls. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your audio controls with your source button, volume controls, seat track, your voice recognition system, and your on-hook and off-hook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu. While on the right side is your cruise control, and these two buttons right here correspond to you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge. The steering wheel of this Montero Sport gets a manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using the sliver right here. Your grip handle located at the A-pillar for the driver's side. While on top, there is no grip handle available. The driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light. Sunglass holder. Interior lights right above. and a manual dimming rear view mirror.
The front passenger side sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light. Grip handle located at the ceiling for the front passenger side as well as grip handle located at the A pillar which helps you to support while getting in and out of the car. Your lockable glove box, which is a good amount of size. I forgot to mention, you have your puddle light. Put the light down there, speaker, storage, and the bottle holder, window control. And to gain access to the last row seat, use this lever, just pull it. And the middle row seat folds and tumbles in a 60-40 manner. We will hop on on that later on, but for now let's move on to the middle row seat. Well, I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5'9", which is about 1.7 meters tall. And I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath of the driver's seat. As for leg room, I have slightly more than this. While I have this much in terms of headroom, in terms of space, you have a generous amount of space that you can apply with this uh, middle row seat of the Montero Sport. And it is not bad back here and the seats are nicely comfortable as well thanks to its nicely padded fabric seats it is really soft and really gives you a cushion and it is uh, slightly bolstered as well no problem on this uh, typical mid-size seven-seater SUV you have storage buckets in the front seat backs two USB charging ports and a home power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power and it is a 220 volts you have also a center armrest with two cup holders however i could not uh, show you this one because it is covered in plastic not for now you do also have a cabin light right above your controls for your um, rear air conditioning you got your 
grip handles, hook, and a air con vent on both sides for the middle row. Unfortunately, the middle row seat of this Montero Sport doesn't have a bar to, in order to slide forward and backward to increase or decrease more leg room at the last row seat. But yeah. It is a big difference compared to the previous model year, the pre facelift model. The design of the dashboard is really, really new on this 2020 model year. Now let's go on the last row seat of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport GLS. Put the seat base down. There we go. It needs a bit of work in order to fold down the last row seat or return it back on its um, normal position. Now I'm at the last row seat of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. As you can see, I have a little bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath of the driver's seat. As for leg room, I have this much. While I have this much in terms of a headroom. In terms of space of the Montero Sport, I do realize that it is a little bit comfortable back here and it's really a little bit spacious. And I don't think that the six foot uh, tall intern uh, could not fit here although I'm a five foot nine intern so I don't have a problem on that uh, still the seats are not fairly nice and comfortable as well I don't know if I said that before but yeah it's really nice and comfortable and although it's very very spacious it is not a big problem on a small individual and a children back here on this side, you do have two cup holders. Well, on this side, it doesn't have. So, yeah. And you do also have a grip handle and a air con vent. Both sides for the last row. And I do almost forgot they do have a grip handles located at the, at the B pillar for both sides in the middle row. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself and locate the lever underneath at the Mitsubishi badge. 
boot space of the Montero Sport is measured by 131 liters when all rear seats up. Fold down the third row seats creating 502 liters and 1,488 liters when all rear seats folded. Underneath at the boot floor is some storage together with a bolt that in orders you to remove a spare tire which is located at the boot floor. A tool kit and jack is hidden at the storage compartment that is located on the left side at the boot. Well guys, I hope you enjoy of this full walk around review of the 2020 Mitsubishi Montero Sport 2.4 GLS mated to 8-speed automatic gearbox. It is a 4x2 rather. So if you like this video, make sure it thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I will see you next time for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.